Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was um, working on intros, um, and I was using this one that my friend Ken always uses, but I am i really don't think it's working for me. Um, I don't think it's really working for Ken either. So, anyway, this video is um, kind of a response to this Corona Line video I did two years ago, and um, I thought it was only fitting that I wear the same shirt for it, because, um, you know, that shirt was old then. So I have not been terribly active on my channel, um, and I... It just hasn't been a priority for me really, but I've had my channel for five years and I've maybe 10, 12 videos, I think. So, and I haven't posted anything in about a year, um, almost a year. But um, I thought I, I had to go back to this video I did two years ago. It's how to, um, how to drink Corona with lime. It was nothing groundbreaking or anything, but I um, did it just for the hell of it. Uh, one take and um, just without any planning or anything. And it was shot on my iPhone 5. And somehow that got a lot, a lot more views than I think it, than I expected, and probably more than it warranted. And I had about 20 subscribers at the time, and I, I posted it thinking I'd get maybe 100 views. Um, people like my mom might watch it, and her friends, and you know, my husband maybe. But I think that, I thought that was going to be about it. So I, oh, banana bread's ready. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I made banana bread, so it's a beautiful thing. So yeah, back to um, that this video. So now I have about um, s over 600 subscribers and I, um, I keep getting new comments coming in. Some of these are really good. Some of them are really well crafted and um, I want to do a video, a special video just to read and share them with everybody so we can uh, learn something and grow as people. I responded to a lot of these comments right as they came in, um, as I saw a notification on my phone. Because sometimes I'd wake up and I'd have like six new comments that came in overnight. And so I just immediately just had a lot of fun with that. I know you're not supposed to feed the trolls, but those are some of my favorites. And some of them were just really, really funny. So um, yeah, here we go. Where do I want to start? There's so many good ones. And I'm probably going to have to cut a lot of this out because I don't like my videos to be too, too long. Instructions not clear, got penis stuck in turtle. You fucked up. And here I tried pushing a whole lime through the top. Now you know. You're welcome. I'd like to infuse her lime, know what I'm saying? Ah. Thumbs up for dad thumbs. Dad thumbs. Yay. You do realize that most of the world's drinking age is 18. Yes, I do realize that, but I... I said the little disclaimer about being 21 or over and the reason I, I added that in was I was in a teaching a master's of science and teaching program at the time and I I was trying to cover my ass and just in case someone someone found it and was like oh she promoting underage drinking and I, I you know I just wanted to cover my ass so I think that was as smooth as it was gonna get um, but yeah I uh, also didn't think really more than a handful of people would watch this video and I reached people all over the world. I was looking at the analytics and I, I think that's pretty cool. I just, I see it's not quite relevant now that I reach more people than I thought I would, but I really think that's pretty cool. Sucks you married, you really pretty. Aww. I am married, um, going on six years now. I did this at the bar last night and then I see it on recommendation. Uh, yeah, somehow this got on uh, the recommended list. Um, so, because a lot, a lot of comments came in, people were like, "Why is this on my recommended list?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I, I didn't put it there." Um, but somehow YouTube has their algorithms that I really hadn't bothered to figure out. But somehow this is on these lists. And actually, if you Google Corona Lime, I think my video comes up on the front page, which is kind of scary. Did you just turn 21? Because people have been doing this technique for decades. I did not just turn 21, that's uh, kind of a good long time ago, but I am going to choose to extract a compliment from that, so thank you. Pretty awkward subbed. The awkwardness of the whole video and just my demeanor in general, I'm pretty sure that's why I got as many views as it did. Crap. I forgot to close that. I'll be right back. I want to infuse you with my semen. <sighs> Rocket science at its best. It is, isn't it? You ruined a perfectly nasty beer. Okay, my condolences. Today, Casey Anthony shows us how to put a lime in a Corona. I've been told
sampled that once before, but I usually don't take comparisons seriously until I've heard them more than once, but I kind of see it. And you know, I'm, I'm choosing to extract a compliment from that because I, I think she's kind of attractive. Even if her morals were kind of shot. They need a YouTube anonymous. I can't keep this up anymore. We meet at my church Thursdays. You should come. The most awkward intro. Hi! It was. I don't drink pussy drinks. Who the fuck wants lime in a beer? Happens that I'm a female with a pussy. So, um, yeah. I'll, I'll have some lime in my beer. Nice, but I perceive you are very critical. I am. I cannot argue that. You work at a bar. I was bartending for some time, but I, I actually prefer, um, I, in the restaurant industry, I prefer the cooking part of things. I, I, I'm, for some reason, people think I'm awkward in front of customers. I don't know what they're talking about. Hi, I'm Pakistani and not married. Okay. Skinny crackhead living in mobile home. That hurts. I'm your hundredth subscriber, so I got that going for me. That is true. Um, actually, six months ago, that person was my 100th subscriber, and um, I commented that I promised a shout out in my next video, so um, you get a shout out. Hi. That's how I do shout outs, just so you know. Um, you'll never ask for another one again. Legend told of a time when YouTube had videos devoid of 15 plus minute intros with dubstep and 3D letters. It enchanted us with tales of a time when videos were short and contained content that delivered on the title succinctly, but I do not believe until today. If nothing else, I think I delivered on that, so, but thank you. Infuse these nuts in your mouth. Nah. Literally ruined one of the premium and classic beer of all time. Oh, and quite expensive too. Damn. Moment of silence then. Okay, moving on. If you have to have fruit to have beer, then you should go back to Boone's Farms. It's not like, it's a little lime wedge. I'm, I'm using it for the acid and the little bite it contributes, not so much the like sweetness like you'd <laughs> look for at Boone's Farm. So I, I don't think it's the same thing. I, I mean, I don't think I'm using my beer as a substrate for fruit, because um, that's, that's an expensive substrate. All right, I would just keep the fruit. Drink it in front of the camera. There were a handful of comments on why why didn't I drink it in front of the camera? Um, I really didn't think that was necessary. It was, you know, the video was plenty long enough, and um, I, I thought you guys had the whole beer drinking thing down already. Such beautiful eyes. Well, there, there were a couple of compliments on my eyes. That's really nice. My mom gave them to me. Damn, I'd rip that girl's vagina wide open. Now, that reads like a threat, but I know it's 21st century, and I've been off the dating scene for several years, but I know kind of romance um, is a little different these days, so I'm, I'm not sure what to make of that. That wasn't lame, that was lying. She posted that 11 months ago, and I got, a, at this point, 201 thumbs up and a, and a heart from me, uh, so I like that. I enjoyed that one, and so did a lot of other people. Minute 31 sounds like one of my silent but deadly farts. <laughs> Turn the audio up, you might hear something. Should do one on smoking meth. Looks like you're an expert at it. Um, this is not meth mouth. Um, you'd know that if you didn't show up to 8th uh, grade health class high as a kite. None ya damn business. I don't need no woman telling me how to drink my beer. None ya damn business. Drink your beer. Okay? I just did. That was fun. I've lost a minute of my precious life. I'm glad I was able to pull you away from you porn for a whole minute. I'd say that's a pretty good job. I'm so attracted to you and I don't know why. You're really cute, but there's just something. Oh, you guys. While your thumb is covering the opening and the lime is floating to the bottom of the bottle, you can shake the bottle up and treat yourself to a refreshing Corona and lime enema. Just be careful not to get the lime wedge stuck in your rectum. It's embarrassing to go to the ER with a lime wedge stuck in your rectum. I. In order to consider doing this, I will need um, a video from you um, with a tutorial of you doing that, and I'll, I'll need that posted publicly, and I also will need a, a vlog from you um, about your um, experience going to the emergency room, just so I know what, what to expect. Um, so if you do that first, um, maybe I'll consider it. You will never see a real Mexican nor me drink Corona because they piss in that shit when they're making... 
I actually checked on Snopes. I, I don't think they actually piss in the beer while they're making it. But um, I, I guess I can see why you'd think that. It's yellow. Finding Dory in real life. <laughs> You're funny. But she looks like a frog. All right, I'm really offended by that because if I look like any animal, it's probably a horse. And horses are majestic. So I've got that going for me. What drunk ass Mexican taught you this? LFMAO so wrong as fuck. Your mom. Your mom did. Will this work with an avocado? I, I said, I don't think so. I told this person to try, maybe try an ear of corn. And he said, thanks, I'll try it and I'll let you know. And he said it, it didn't work. So just, just so you guys know now, um, it won't work. Teach us how to breathe the next. Well, it helps if you pull your head out of your ass first. So again, thank you so much for watching my video and leaving your fun comments. They kept me entertained. Um, now that I have over 600 subscribers, which is uh, a lot more than I had before without even trying, I'm gonna have to make some more videos. So um, yeah, if you think of anything, uh, don't let me know. I, you're probably gonna think of something inappropriate. Well, anyway, bye for now.